Under the leadership of new head coach Dimitri Sitoudis, Seska Moscow made its intentions known early this season by refusing to lose through four months and 15 games, amassing the fourth longest winning streak in Euroleague history. With forward Sonny Weems and Andrei Voroncevic setting the pace, Seska boasted the league's most productive offence as the only team to win all 10 games in the regular season. Its dominance continued into the top 16 as new sign-in Nando De Color earned the January B1 MVP award by inspiring Seska to five hard-fought victories, including one against eventual Final Four qualifier Fenerbahce Ulker Istanbul, in which the reliable Aaron Jackson put on an outstanding performance. Seska made it 15 wins out of 15 games with consecutive 100-point scoring shows as the brilliant Milos Teodosic came to the fore. And, after finally suffering its first two slips of the season to Fenerbahce and its upcoming semi-final opponent, Olympiakos Pireus, Seska quickly returned to its winning ways. With former EuroLeague MVP Andrei Kirilenko returning to the team, centre Sasha Kaun ruling the paint and Karl Heinz filling in the team's few blanks, Seska enjoyed a superb run of six victories to close the top 16 atop its group again. In the playoffs, Seska continued to impress, hammering Panathinaikos Athens in the first two games. Although the Greens fought back in Game 3, Kirilenko then stepped up to inspire a series-clinching victory that sent Seska Moscow to the Final Four for the 12th time in 13 seasons as the highest-scoring EuroLeague team in the last decade.